Okay, after a wonderful night's rest at the Urban Equine in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, we're gonna walk down to the farmer's market. I'm told that this is the oldest farmer's market in the U.S. And so we're gonna walk down Grant Street to the farmer's market and I'll show you what it looks like. This episode of Gene and Renee Travel Adventures is sponsored by Annie Bailey's Irish Pub in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. We ate a delicious traditional Irish meal there and we'll show you pictures of their gorgeous restaurant a little later in this video. Designed as a market town in 1730, the city of Lancaster is home to Lancaster Central Market, the oldest continuously running public farmer's market in the country. More than 60 local vendors call the beautiful 1889 Market House home three days each week when it opens its doors to welcome the surrounding community. A step inside is sure to highlight all that Lancaster County has to offer. A walk through its aisles will find an abundance of produce from the deeply nutrient-rich soils native to the local landscape. An array of prepared foods presenting the proud cultural diversity of the county and locally sourced meat, poultry, cheeses, and more.
Hi friends, we're outside of Annie Bailey's here in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, getting ready to go in and have some dinner. And I uh, can't wait to show you what the food looks like and tell you all about it. Looks like it's gonna be great. It's an Irish pub. Located at 28-30 East King Street in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, the building built in 1890 originally served as a clothing store. Then in 2006, Annie Bailey's was opened after being transformed into an Irish pub by four gentlemen who had built more than 30 Irish pubs in Europe and North America. They used decor and furnishings shipped straight from Ireland. The brick, stone, glass, and wood decor coupled with rustic beams, crown molding, and copper glazed ceiling, it says Irish pub loud and clear. When walking into Annie Bailey's for the first time, you're instantly amazed by the 15-foot ceilings and the imported Irish 50-foot bar that seats 22. Your eyes will be drawn to the stone archway and the central fireplace. The kitchen is located on a lower level, and there's an interesting bar upstairs on the second floor, and it's a really cool concept. I'll tell you about it in a few minutes. Trust me, it is definitely worth the wait. The attractive red pub front once greeted guests at the Shelburne Hotel in Dublin, Ireland. The owners, Josh and Jake Funk, are Lancaster natives. They brought to Lancaster years of hospitality experience from Washington, D.C., Chicago, and Atlanta. With 15,000 square feet of space, Annie Bailey features a dependable mix of traditional Irish fare, modern American cuisine, classic pub grub, and seasonal chef specials. Accentuated by a stellar lineup of Irish and craft beers and ciders, shelves on shelves of whiskeys, signature cocktails, and a hearty weekend brunch. Annie Bailey's Irish Public House is just steps away from the Lancaster County Convention Center, Lancaster Marriott at Penn Square, and the local farmer's market known as Central Market Lancaster. In fact, the local farmer's market provides many of the ingredients used on their menu. During warmer weather, there's an additional outdoor seating area on the rear of the building. Now, I promised to tell you about the unique bar that's on the second floor. At the end of the video, you'll see a black door and a plaque designating the Conway Social Club. It's reminiscent of the speakeasies popular during the Prohibition era. Your entrance is interesting as well. When you arrive at the black door, check to see that the green light is illuminated. If it is, knock at the door and wait. Within a few minutes, you'll be offered entrance. Reservations, though not required, are recommended. Anthony, the general manager of Annie Bailey's, gave me a tour of the upstairs establishment. Leather seating, private areas for quiet conversation, beautiful decor, inspired cocktails, and fairs that are as thoughtful and interesting as they are approachable and delicious. Very unique and worth the visit. Renee and I love traditional Irish food, and our choices this night reflect our taste. I enjoy the shepherd's pie with Irish soda bread. Renee had the bangers and mash. We feasted in Dublin, Ireland before, and this meal at Annie Bailey's was as good as we've ever had anywhere. We finished the meal with delectable warm bread pudding. I suspect that anything you order here will far exceed your expectations.
Thank you, Annie Bailey's at 2830 East King Street, Lancaster, for sponsoring this episode of Gene and Renee Travel Adventures.